Hello everybody, Kate here today with our episode of Wildlife Park. And today, we're back on the world starting our Tibetan East Asian Indian section of the zoo. So, this is going to be things like the Snow Leopard, which is today's episode. Uh, the Tiger, uh, Indian Elephant, Panda, Gariel, Gaar, all sorts of things. Uh, and it should honestly be really cool and really fun to set up. Um, so today, yes, I said we're doing the Snow Leopard, which is something I was very excited to do. Now, the, uh, the first half of this time lapse that you're gonna watch basically is me just building up a viewing area for the, uh, Snow Leopard. And I have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of how it turned out, and in fact, um, I'm gonna say this right off the bat, so that way more people, I guess, hear it. Um, I'm considering doing a wildlife park live stream on Saturday. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if there's enough support for it, we'll definitely do it. Um, and I think for that live stream, what I'd basically do is fix a few things around the park, add in some decorations that still needs to be done, and we'd be pretty good. But, uh, yeah, uh, for the, for this whole area, it's kind of weird how I'm trying to set it up. I, I'm not really exactly sure how it's going to look in the end. Uh, but I'm trying to work it into the mountain and actually behind this main mountain here, which will become the exhibit uh, I'm gonna continue a path right above the river most likely uh, that you can see on the right side of the screen there Because behind there is a massive plateau which we can use to build on um, But anyway uh, for the gate or not the gate the viewing area here itself. I decided to go with something uh, Which I felt it was kind of like Tibetan monastery styles, I guess or maybe Japanese monastery uh, and I think it was an interesting idea in, pra in theory, but in practice, uh, it was just too narrow and too tall to really sell the effect well, and I think I would go with a completely different design in all honesty if I were to redo this, but maybe we'd stick with something similar. Um, at any rate, yeah, it, it turned out really well. In fact, actually, um, I kind of realized this, um, so I... I like I said, I kind of started with this idea of doing something like a very East Asian monastery kind of thing for this build, uh, or this viewing thing, and then actually the exhibit itself. But I kind of realized, although that would have been my initial goal, what ended up happening, and also I'm going to rebuild this roof about 10 billion times. This is why this viewing platform takes so long. Uh, I just kept rebuilding it, and I think that should have been a sign to me that it probably wasn't a good idea to build it like this if it was taking me this long to get anything I liked. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, I realized about halfway through actually decorating this exhibit that uh, <laughs> I feel like this was far more inspired by uh, Far Cry 4 than anything else. Like this, this reminded me a lot of playing Far Cry 4 for some reason, and I'm not really sure why, uh, but yeah, it just suddenly reminded me of Far Cry 4. But I think that's kind of cool. I, I really like Far Cry 4. It's, it's pretty good. Far Cry Primal was pretty fun as well. I suppose uh, 5. 5 was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about Far Cry right now. Uh, but yeah, I decided to go for these red concrete uh, blocks for the roofing. And I actually kind of like that decision. It gives this, this really like vibrant, almost dragon-like color to it. Which, although cool, I really I don't know if that really suits this exhibit very well, um, and is one of the things I might change if I were to go back. Um, but who knows? Who knows if I'll ever go back and fix this? I guess that depends on you guys and whether or not you want the live stream. So uh, yeah, we'll see to that. Um, this was a weird exhibit to build, I gotta say. Um, overall, it was kind of this. I, I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to do it, and. I think it looks a lot better than it. I think it does right now, because uh, obviously, if you spend a ton of time building something, often in, you start to notice all the things you don't like with it, because the version in your head was so much better. And to be honest, I think I could have made this exhibit way smaller than I ended up making it. In fact, I, I do think I went kind of crazy with doing it. But you know what? This is this is one of my videos, especially me building an exhibit. So if you guys don't expect me to go over the top on some of this stuff, you're clearly in the wrong place. I mean, you know, it, it's it's a me video. I'm gonna make it crazy over the top because you know what? That's, that's just what I do. That's what we do here on the channel. We make over the top builds that definitely could have been way simpler. Um, so a smart man would have just taken this lowest level behind them, like right in front of the mountain, walled that off and made that the exhibit. That's what a smart person would have done. I did not. 
instead, as you're going to see in a few minutes or a minute or so, I built a mountain wall, basically. If you've seen my dino series or any other episodes in this series, you kind of know what I mean. I, I built my own mountain wall to kind of fill in the exhibit and set the boundaries where I wanted them, which I kind of regret in terms of it being way more work than I really needed to do. But you know what? I think it was an interesting look. I think it had a good result. And you know what? With a bit more work adding and a bit more grass and more foliage around it, I think it would really work well. Actually, more snow than anything else. More snow would really just sell the effect way better. Um, but yeah, we had to do a bit of terraforming to kind of get it to look good. Um, but yeah, I think, I think this was a good project overall. I think it was very fun to work on. It was an interesting thought experiment. It was done very late at night. In fact, um, when I'm recording this, it's it's almost midnight actually right now when I'm doing this voiceover. Uh, and that's because actually on the day you're seeing this, you'll probably have noticed it's gone up incredibly early compared to the re most of my videos. And that's because I am currently gone right now when you guys are watching this uh, for a day trip. And yeah, so I am having to record this super late. Uh, it's, uh, I'm actually kind of tired right now, but same time I'm kind of on an energy high because I tried a new thing with the, uh, what is it? Oh, see, now there is a problem here where I've kind of started on the other side and the camera hasn't quite panned over yet, but basically I started the rock wall on the other end. Uh, basically with the replay mod, I tried doing a different thing today and I think it worked out kind of well. I, I'm pretty happy with it overall. It was a lot simpler and much more times, uh, it wasn't as time consuming as my usual method, so... Honestly, that was a plus. Uh, I was pretty happy with that. Quick drink of water, because you know what? I'm losing my voice already. Um, not really, but uh, yeah. Woo, this build is... You, you can already start to see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. But at the same time, I really kind of wanted to capture that feeling of like... Or is it whenever you see them in documentaries, like snow leopards are always like on these like cliff faces, basically. Uh, like right sheer drops on the Himalayas and they're like hunting goats and stuff Which is honestly so cool to watch for an animal. That's so honestly mad respect to the people who managed to capture these things on film because Like snow leopards are incredibly rare and elusive So I mean if you if you have the patience to go find one of those in real life like that's that's impressive um, But yeah, we basically are just I'm building this kind of bowl which kind of allowed me to save a bit on building a big fence. I think this was, again, more complicated than it needed to be, but overall, I think it still looks really good. Um, I'd love to meld the top of the mountain there with the top of this rock wall here and kind of create this like snowy overhang because I think that would look amazing and put a few more snow drifts that you'll eventually see me do in here because, you know, snow after doing that mammoth exhibit in my dino series, uh, snow drifts are kind of in. I I've got some good ideas on how to do them now. I think they're pretty easy, uh, at least in creative mode. In survival mode, they ain't. They're, uh, quite a pain um but anyway i'm just gonna throw in the rest of the plants and snow into the exhibit and i'll catch back up with you guys uh when we tour through it so i'll see you guys then All right, guys, here we are with the final build for the uh, snow leopards. Now I have to say, I had to do some trickery here with my uh, my snow leopards because they're supposed to spawn in from, uh, well, these are from Mo Creatures, by the way, if you don't know, um, but I couldn't get them to spawn properly. So 
They're probably actually just regular leopards because I replaced uh, the regular leopard texture with the snow leopard texture. So I got them 100% whenever I wanted because I wasn't probably going to use the leopard anyway. Um, but anyway, 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 this is the final exhibit. Now you guys will have heard me talk in the time lapse probably about this thing, this viewing platform. And I have to say, I don't like it. I think I spent way too much time on it. I think I overbuilt it. I don't think it's good. I, I'm probably going to rebuild this. Um, I'm thinking about doing a live stream. I probably mentioned that already in the time lapse. I don't know, I haven't recorded that yet. Um, but you know what? I think overall this looks pretty good. The, the, okay, again, the viewing area, not so great. I think it either needs to be wider with the same style or I just need a different style altogether. Well, probably it needs to be widened no matter what. But at any rate, I, I'm actually quite a fan of the exhibit. On one hand, I don't like it, but that's also because I think I've spent too much time building it. So it's like, you know, you spend too long on a project and you start to hate it. Like a drawing, if you if you work really hard on a drawing and then you start looking at it too long, you start to hate it. But you step away for a few minutes, come back, look at it with fresh eyes. You're like, okay, this actually is pretty good. And I think that's how the Snow Leopard exhibit is. I think it could use more snow for sure. Definitely more snow. The hills need, or the top of these mountains need to be integrated in with the rest and need more snow. I definitely could have made this exhibit much smaller, much simpler. Uh, I realized basically if like from here, I had just built a fence or a smaller rock wall to here, there still would have been plenty of space, but it would have been like half, if not a, a, like, you know, like two fifths the size. So yeah, that may have been a smarter idea, but I do like this. Um, oddly enough, this build right now is really making, reminding me of Far Cry 4 for some reason. And I don't know why, but it just is. And I kind of like that because Far Cry 4 was kind of cool. I liked it. Or I liked the setting before it. Um, but yeah, anyway. Oh, well, yeah, this is also, by the way, the, uh, the beginning of our East Asian area. Um, also, the pathway, if you guys are wondering, is probably going to continue along here. I'm going to make it like kind of like a cliffside path type thing. And then we're going to go over here, which has tons and tons of space for us to do all the other exhibits I want to do around here. We can do some cool stuff with that river down there, all sorts of stuff. Should be pretty awesome. Um, also, you know, I want to, sh I should probably show this off real quick. Uh, we have a bridge in progress and a pathway in progress and kind of linking this whole area up to the North American section. Oh, 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 I also need to show this, or I wanna show this off real quick. It's not really a big thing necessarily, but I st uh, we added in, we've added mo creatures in like two episodes ago, and now I've added in uh, little critters, I think, which is an add-on for Zawa, which means we have even more animals, which means even the North American section has more animals I need to add in, which is wonderful. If you can't tell, I'm very excited to keep fixing the area I keep thinking I'm done with. Um, but I haven't really gone all the way through this, but I've started basically just throwing all the mobs that are gonna go in certain biomes into chests around here. And I think that's that's definitely gonna help. I think uh, maybe I'll come up with like a graphic or something that shows you guys what animals we don't have in the zoo yet. So you guys have stuff to pick from. Maybe I'll consider doing that, we'll see. Um, but as for the new North American animals, if we get around to that, maybe a live stream, maybe we'll do that on a live stream or in their own episodes. We'll kind of see, uh, they'll probably go somewhere around here or around here, just kind of filling in these little spots. And maybe we can throw one over there. Uh, we'll see what happens. But anyway, I think that's all I have to say. So thank you all for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed. And until next time, guys, see ya.